What's going on everybody? I'm YouTube's ProPJ and welcome back to Back to the Future Episode 1. When we left off, uh, Doc was in trouble. Everybody thinks that he burnt down this, this speakeasy. speakeasy burned down. How'd Doc ever get mixed up in that? So they all think that he's an arsonist. Um, so I'm guessing I need to go to the jail to see if I can talk to him. All right, all right, all right. Window? Can I talk to him through the window? Doc. <gasps> Again. Doc. Hey. What are My you old doing friend. Here? You sent for me, Doc. I did. When? May fourteenth, nineteen eighty-six. Yep. <gasps> the automatic retrieval system. Of course. I'd almost forgotten about that. All right. So what's well, plan for getting yeah, what's the here? plan? Plan? We don't need a plan. We don't. Yeah, you get shot flight. and killed, dude. The police picked me up for that speakeasy fire a couple of weeks ago, but the DA hasn't got a case. They're releasing me tomorrow morning. So basically, I traveled 50 years into the past to deliver your car? Yep. Sorry about that, but it's so wonderful to see you. We have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah, uh -huh. you might want to hold off on that, Doc. Yep. Great Scott, I'm going to be gunned down by gangsters on the steps of the courthouse. Why would they do that? Yeah, you are. Yes, they didn't approve of my burning down their speakeasy. Very funny, Doc. Maybe now we should come up with a plan. A plan? We need right. a plan. Like what, what? I have no... You're the duck, Doc. Uh... Let's... Go back in time. Why don't I take the DeLorean, go back in time before you were arrested, and stop you from getting caught in the first place? Don't even think about it. Without my unjust incarceration, the events that sent you into the past might never happen, resulting in a paradox Good God. of continuum shattering proportions. Jeez, we've been back together for five minutes, Doc. Yeah, I know. Talking about the end of the universe. Yeah. I've missed that. No, so have I. In a weird way. <laughs> I was only referring to the end of the universe as we know it. Okay. Let's break you out. Well, I suppose I could just get some dynamite and break you out of jail. No, no, that's far too dangerous. Not just to me, but to random innocent people in the past. The repercussions could be... <gasps> that's it! What's it? What's it? My rocket-powered drill. You have a y rocket drill? Yeah, what drill? the f... Not Where yet. you been keeping I that, son? You've lost me, Doc. Listen, a few months ago, my 17-year-old self sent in a patent application for a rocket-powered drill. Okay. I the project after I never heard back from the patent office, but the prototype should be nearly complete. Great, I'll just run back to your lab and... No, no, I said nearly complete. You'll need me to help you finish it. Yep. How am I supposed to sneak a half-finished rocket-powered drill into your cell? Not me, me. 1931 me. Wait a minute. Okay. Doc. You want me to convince your 1931 self to build a rocket powered drill to break you out of jail? Precisely. Cuckoo. <laughs> uh. How am I going to convince you? Your younger self yeah, exactly. A rocket drill. Just tell him I need to break his older self out of jail? Absolutely not. Whatever you do, you can't tell my younger self anything about time travel. I won't come up with the inspiration for the flux capacitor for another 24 years. Then what am I okay. supposed to just be your charming self? From what I remember, oh, I'm then we're fucked. <laughs> me in scientific adventure we're be really safe. fucked. Okay. Um, okay. Okay, well, let's say I go along with this crazy idea. Where can I find you? I mean, uh, the other you. How yes. should I know? It was over 50 years ago. Why did you go over to the soup kitchen next door and give my house a call? They'll know where to find me. Soup kitchen. Okay. Got it. Just stay away from the soup. It'll cause irreparable damage to your digestive system. Jesus. That's bloody charming to hear. I guess I better get started. Don't worry, Doc. I'll get you out of here in no time. I'm not worried. Once yeah, you, you probably you might you probably should be. You'll be unstoppable. Uh, well, you're more optimistic than I am, Doc. I'll give you that. I will give you that. All right, let's go into the soup kitchen. Are we gonna get a Hey McFly kind of thing going? <laughs> Fight with 1931 Biff. <laughs> That'd be funny. I would be versing like his grandpa or something, wouldn't I? 
If it's 1931. Nope, Grandpa? kid. That's Mr. You there we go. What are you doing out here? Well, I was getting kind of hungry, so I figured I'd come down here for some free soup. Just yeah. thought I'd come down for some soup. Think, McFly. The DA's throwing around subpoenas like Babe Ruth. I don't think Ruth's a pitcher anymore. Shut it. <laughs> if one of those subpoenas landed in the hands of my number cruncher, I'd be in a whole lot of trouble. I could even get sent up the river. You wouldn't want that, would you? Oh. Would you? Uh, no. Of course not, kid. Oh, right. Kid Tannen. That's better. What are you looking at, punk? <clears throat> An asshole. Your eyes on the soup, kid. Well? Well, what? What are you still doing here? Sorry, kid. I'll just run back to the safe house. You do that. Okay. McFly. Yes? That hat's too flashy. You better let me hold on to it. Ah, oh. oh, rude. Now scram. You got it, Bob. <coughs> Prick, what? Who Don't said that? Out until I give you the all clear. <laughs> I swear, if even one of you mooks could add two plus two without your fingers, I'd dump that wimp into the lake. Hey! Oh, great. Anyway, I'm off to make myself irresistible. Don't let anyone burn down the shop while I'm gone. Oh, wow. That's inspired. All right. A thornbush in a drunkard's hand is a proverb in the mouth of a fool. Not and what I wanted. Wanted the phone. Okay. Brown residence. Brown uh, residence. Uh, do you know where I could find Emmett Brown? Young Master Brown is currently tending to his clerking duties at the courthouse. Who may I say is calling? Yep, no one. The courthouse. The doc never told me he worked at the courthouse. All right, let's go. Good to see you. How are you? Praise be. Alright, let's go get young Doc. Alright. Courthouse. I'm digging this story a lot more this time around. I don't know why I didn't like it last time. Oh, Einstein. Hey, doggy. Good boy. Hey, how you doing, Einie? Such a chill dog. I like it. Alright, let's go. Oh, oh, Jesus. Don't Hi. Don't touch those. These are very sensitive legal documents. Nobody is supposed to handle them but sworn officers of the court. Papa, I, I mean, Judge Brown says so. Hey, you forgot one. Judge Brown? Doc, uh, nice to meet you. I'm Michael, uh, Corleone. Yep. I'm Brown, but I am a law clerk, not a doctor. Now please get out of my way. I have important business to transact. Okay. Alright, let's go. Uh, hey, Emmett. Calm, Listen, Emmett, you calm don't know the fuck down. I'm your friend. I'm not big on friends. They get in the way of work. Um... When will you be finished? Oh, what time are you through with work? Depends. On weeknights, Pop sometimes keeps me in the office till 9. Okay. Nine night, but today's Saturday. Right, so I probably won't get off before 10. Fuck that. I hear you're working on the rocket drill. I understand you're working on a new invention in your lab. Invention? You must have me mixed up with somebody else. I'm in law. I have absolutely no interest in science. Uh-huh. Wait, is that even possible? Oh, let's start up. Carry the variable? That sounds like a lot of science Again? talk. Can't you see I'm busy? Tell me about your rocket okay. drill. Okay, so you don't want your old man to know. That's fine. Listen, we all keep secrets. But I'm telling you, you can level with me about this science project of yours. I the am not a scientist. But go ahead, ask me what E equals. Okay. What does E equal? I have absolutely no idea. See? I don't know where you got your information. I love the squeaky voice. It's like the squeaky voice kid in The Simpsons. Oh, do you want fries with that? 
No. Will you just give me a chance? Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Corleone. Okay. Your rocket drill's safe Come with on, me. You could trust me, Doc. Uh, Emmett, it's your future I'm looking out for. In more ways than one. What are you talking about? I'm talking about you and science. Yep. Oh, that word again! If you insinuate I'm a scientist once more, I'll sue you for defamation of character! What the f- Alright, do Just I- Give me a chance. Do I have to say I'm a scientist as well? Cry, Mr. Corleone. What the fuck just happened? Why's my screen black? See, I'm sort of in the science business myself. That's why I sought you out. What is going on? Not that I care in the least, because science is the furthest thing from my own area of interest, which is law, but I don't believe you. It's true. Yeah. I'm a scientist. So tell me something, Mr. Scientist, from your vast storehouse of scientific knowledge. All right. Uh, the leg bone's connected to the thigh bone? Oh. Okay. Oh, Marty. Oh. Oh. Um, so about your rocket Emmett, drill. Uh, about your... Say it. Really? Oh, come on. Hey! Mother trucker. Alright, follow him in. Hello? No solicitors! Okay. Come on, Emmett. Just give me a chance. Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Corleone. That's something for you to do. Come on, Doc, uh, Emmett, uh, drop the legal eagle act. I got something more important for you to do. Mr. Corleone, I'll have you know that the law is the very mortar that holds oh. society together. Is that so, Mr. Pompous Fancy Prey? of the future. Your dad tell you that? Yep. Every morning. <laughs> what are you doing? What's this important business you're up to? It's a legal matter, very complicated, very abstruse. I need to obtain five sets of initials on every copy of this writ of Jesus. identification before Pop... I mean, before Judge Brown can even think of granting a waiver to the party in the first part. You have no idea what it's about, do you? He has That's no... how important it is. How about quitting early? How about you knock off work early and I'll buy you a beer, uh, or soda. What do you say? Don't try to tempt me from my duty with sugary beverages. Keeping the wheels of justice turning, that's my one passion in life. Besides, if I left before eight, my pop would kill me. Yeah, you sound a little like scared. Scared of your father. Scared of my father? Pop is the most learned, just, incorruptible judge that Hill Valley has ever seen. The only people scared of Judge Brown are people with a dark secret to hide. And I don't have a dark secret to hide. Yeah, you do. Ah, uh, that's not gonna work. Uh, about your say it. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I talk to older Doc about what the fuck is wrong with younger Doc. What's up, Doc? <laughs> Will it give me something to go on here? Doc! Marty! Have you found my younger self yet? Yep. Uh, uh, I met your younger self. Oh, I met your younger self. Right. And I gotta say, you're kind of uptight. What? Yep. You won't even talk to me. I find that hard to believe. Tell me what happened. Okay. Seems dedicated to the you law. Know, your younger self seems really dedicated to the law. It's a facade, I assure you. I had to keep up appearances to appease my father. Okay. I tried asking him about your rocket drill, but he says he's not a scientist. Yep. What? What? Oh, uh, father. What's he got to do with this? Yeah, exactly. In 1931, I was still deathly afraid of my father discovering the truth about my scientific predilections. So okay. I definitely kept them under wraps, practicing science at odd hours, away from his prying eyes. That sucks. Yeah. It sucked a lot. Fortunately, I eventually stood up to him. Is that right what, now, that's I why he's a little. Probably thinks he's been sent by my father to check up on me. Okay. How can I get him to trust me? What do I me? do to convince Teen Doc that I'm not a spy? I'm not sure. 
Let's talk about your younger self's problems later. Okay. Okay. Don't forget, we're on a bit of a deadline here. Can I tell him about Jack. the book? Morning. How goes the escape plan? Um, I found your notebook. I know this really isn't the right time or place, but I found your notebook. Oh, so that's where I left it. Why'd you bring it here? Because the bank's selling off all your stuff. Yep. You can't do that. That's what I keep trying to tell him. Well, you hold on to it for safekeeping. We'll deal with my financial situation in 1986 after we saved me from a grisly death in 1931. Valid. Uh. Um. Um, younger self. I'm still not making any headway with your younger self, Doc. Really? He Why mutters a lot. Younger self mutter all the time. Muttering? Why would I be muttering? I, I, I never mutter unless. Uh... The hell, Valley? Come Expo. on. The Expo? Yes, the Expo. How could I have forgotten? In a few months, the younger me will put on a demonstration at the Hill Valley Exposition. Okay. My first public foray into the world of science. Everyone in town will be there, including a number of noted inventors who shaped my career. Ah. So, it was a big success? No, it was a miserable failure, but it was a spectacularly miserable failure. One okay. One my transition from an amateur garage scientist into a professional seeker of truth. Okay. Let's talk about your younger son. Okay. Okay. Let's see what I can do. Let's see if I can get him back on side and get him talking. Somehow, I f fucking doubt it. There he is. Hey, how you doing? Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Corleone. I know. Sound a little scared? Sounds like you're a little scared of your father. Scared of my father? The only people scared of you. Okay, I'm really not making any headway. Can I show him the book? I mean, I don't want to, but maybe that's the way I do it. Doc's notebook doesn't belong to him. Okay, actually, it does belong to him, but not yet. In any event, it's probably a really bad yeah. idea to give him a book full of all the things he hasn't invented yet. Probably. Probably. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? Help me, I need hints. And I won't give you day, perhaps you two have something in common. What's Emma mother to himself? Thinks you're not listening. Okay. Ah, record his mutters. That's a good idea. See, this is why I was happy with Telltale Games right at the start, because they at least built in systems to help you. They were like, oh, he's muttering, so let's build in this system to help the players. Okay, where the fuck did he go? Damn it! Where are you? Alright. Let's record. No, 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 no. Will you just give me a chance? Harassment's a federal. I uh, leave him. Ah, oh, crap. Damn it. Uh, back. Okay, okay, can I? Come on, record him. Oh, there we go. Think, Emmett. Think. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. I. Oh. Oh, hey, how you doing? Good to see you. <laughs> he just looks at me like, what the fuck are you doing? Okay. Okay. Alright, so older Doc can make sense of this. Hopefully. Alright, here we go. Uh, recorded your muttering. So, Doc, does this ring a bell? Think, H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A, H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. Good grief! Is that me? I sound so young? Yeah. I was gonna say intense. I forgot how wound up I used to get. Oh yeah. Yeah. You're very wound what are you up. Muttering about. Oh, that's easy. It's Ivanov's conundrum. Just tell my younger self that H equals the Hamiltonian operator. 
but won't giving him the answer mess up the time stream? Only if it turns out that reality is actually nothing more than a holographic illusion created by the interplay of subatomic particles of What the fuck? Too, no, too much science. So, it'll be fine. Okay. Hang in there, Doc. Not the... Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's prove to him that I'm a, I'm a science person. I'm showing off on my science. Which, of which I had none. I, I failed science. <laughs> True story. Alright, you. You. Yeah, I know. Let's go. Maybe H equals the Hamiltonian operator. What did you just say? I said maybe H equals the Hamiltonian operator. Yep. Yeah. Great Scott. If H is a Hamiltonian. Oh, it's weird hearing him say that as a young dude. The inverse of H can only be the same as the expectation value for A. <laughs> That's it. That's the solution to Ivanov's conundrum. The problem I've been wrestling with in my head all week. Okay. There you go. I'm sure you would have figured it out by yourself in a day or two. The way you figured out how to build that rocket power drill. Yep. Where did you learn so much about science? I read a word, Joe's van. Well, it's like this. You know about my rocket power drill? Then there can only be one explanation. What? What? You're from the patent office. I confess I didn't quite know what to expect when I sent the paperwork, but I never expected this. Okay. Welcome. I'm at your service. What can I do for you? Um, I really, Can really I see need a rocket power drill. Of course, of course. Naturally, it's just a scale model, but it's nearly operational. I can show it to you, say, first thing in the morning. Um, I need it tonight. Now, that's no good. I need to see a full size model <gasps> that's fully operational. <gasps> tonight, <gasps> otherwise, we'll have to award the patent to there we go. a competing inventor. Let's Dr. put it McCoy. to him, see if he can do it. it. He can done. pull through. I mean, it might be possible to construct a full size working model in that time frame, but I haven't got the main ingredient for the fuel. I'll get it for you. What is it? 190 proof grain alcohol. And you know how Jesus. difficult it is to get a hold of alcohol these days. Especially now that someone's blown up the speakeasy. And besides, there's no yep. way I can get off work until I've delivered the subpoena. Part of the investigation into the business affairs of Kid Tannen. Ooh. Is it vitally important you see that rocket power drill today? Yes. Is it vitally important you deliver that subpoena today? Yes. Listen, I'll help you deliver it, and I'll see to what you get the alcohol you need. <laughs> It'll help you get that drill finished by tonight. Deal? Deal. Here's the subpoena. All right. I've got a subpoena my grandpa. Oops. <gasps> it's Kid Tannen. Hey, I, I just saw him at the soup kitchen yelling at Arthur McFly. I'm not surprised. Arthur does the books for his business. Yep. What kind of business? That's what the DA is trying to find out. Let's go talk to him. No. Why not? Kid Tannen can tell us where Arthur's hiding. Yeah, well, he can also have us fitted for a Chicago overcoat. Eh, yeah, fuck it. I got nothing to lose. I'm from the future, baby. I ain't got nothing to hide here. What here we the go. Hell matches? You, you got kiwi all over my socks. Sorry, boss. Get out of here. Hey, sorry, boss. How about you? Huh? I'm sitting at a shoe shine booth. You walk up. Either you're here to shine my shoes, or you got a death wish. Which is it? I guess I'm here to shine your shoes. What's your racket? I guess you won't talk about your business. Why not? I got nothing to hide. I recently acquired controlling interest in the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen. Lovely. You seem like a soup kitchen soup kind of guy. Odd line of business for a guy like you. I like soup. Plus, I got a heart as big as all outdoors. Uh, buff a little harder. I want to see myself in the toes. Go for it. Looking for an offer. A guy named Arthur McFly. He's my, uh, sort of a relative. Well, he's my employee. He's very busy today. Okay. Do you know when I might find him? When do you think Arthur will be leaving the office? When I tell him he can leave the office. 
Hey, you missed a spot. All right, calm down. You know where he is? Since you're Arthur's boss, you know where he is, right? He's at the uh, office. And where's the office? the office? I forget. Isn't that office hat? Isn't that Arthur McFly's hat you're holding? It was McFly's hat. Now it's my peanut bowl. <laughs> <clears throat> Fuck you. What? Who said that? Can I buy the hat off you? Can I buy Arthur's hat off you? Could you keep your mind on your work, huh? Shoe shine boy? I'm hanging on to my peanut bowl. Can I peanut? Can I have some peanuts? Why not? I'm a magnanimous kind of guy. Go ahead. Oh yeah, totally. Knock yourself out. Alright. Don't mind if I do. Alright, break time's over. Back to work. Alright, fair enough. He's a he's a hard task lab he's he's a hard task manager, but he's you know, he's 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 okay. About Arthur McFly. Yeah. So about that hat. So one more thing about that hat. You're testing my patience, boy. I do that. Never mind. Uh, never mind. Isn't the soup kitchen an odd line of business? I like soup. Plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. How's that? Shiny enough? Yeah, that'll do. Stay nearby, though. I scuff easy. Wait Fair a enough. Minute. Didn't I see you at the jailhouse, John, with that Carl Sagan rat? Um. Probably. I hope you weren't planning on trying to spring him, because I got other plans. Do tell. Okay, maybe I should talk to the reporter chick. Might help, I don't know. She did just kind of appear out of nowhere, so maybe I meant to talk to her. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Mr. Corleone. Hello. I to draw any undue attention my way. I'm on the trail of a hot new scoop, as we in the newspaper business say. Okay. Sorry about Einstein. I'm sorry about the way Einstein lit into you back there. I don't know what got into him. Well, I hope you've learned to keep him under control. Hey, yeah, I'm being nice to you. To Stop being distracted. a bitch. God damn. Very good. Now let's see if you know your multiplication tables. Uh, what about the other story? Did you finish the story you interviewed me for? About Carl Sagan? Yes, but those pig-headed editors at the paper rejected it. Uh. They said the story was slanted, and that I was glorifying a suspected arsonist. As if their stories aren't always glorifying the criminal vermin yeah. that runs town. you know what? Town. That's, that's very true. It makes me so mad I could spit. Though of course I never would. There's an ordinance against it, and it's so untidy. Yeah, what's the scoop? What's the scoop? I've heard rumors that something shady is going on at the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen. Ah. Uh. You know. And, oh, we mustn't jump to any conclusions. Not till the facts are in. I hope to heaven it is just a rumor. That soup kitchen is the front line in the good fight. If it goes bad, what will happen to the Stay Sober Society? Not to I mention don't all the know. charitable institutions that depend on me for soup deliveries. Okay. Uh, you make soup deliveries? Make hot soup deliveries. It's one of my many small contributions to the good cause. Healthy bodies, healthy souls. Or so one hopes. I pick okay. up barrels of that's, hot soup at the hey, kitchen. That's a and valid. I them hither and it's fair enough. Good so cause. Like orphanage, good on you. Francis Xavier Ranch for unwanted children. Foggy Mountain Home for the incurably insane. Shady Acres Rest Home. Oh, I can barely keep track of them all. It's a very big job. I, I can tell. Uh, Stay Sober Society. Stay Sober Society. You haven't heard of the SSS? They do the most marvelous work, taking hopeless drunken bums and turning them into former hopeless drunken bums. That's I'm pretty one good. Of the founding members. And not to say that I was ever, well, you know. Anyway, we've always met in the cellar of the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen, but for some reason the new managers don't want us down there, so we're stuck. We've got nowhere to meet. Ah. Uh, I know where they can meet. I know a place where the Stay Sober Society can meet. Oh, where? Uh. Hmm. Brown residence? The Brown residence. You mean Judge Brown's place? Yeah, I happen to be good friends with his son Emmett, and he's told me the judge would love to lend his place out for, yep. you know, good causes like yours. Really? Why, that's
That's the most generous, public-spirited offer I've received in a month of Sundays. Please tell your friend Emmett we accept. Good. The meeting isn't due to start for a little while, so that'll give our people some time to set up. I think I've just dug myself a bit of a grave here, but that's okay. I can help deliver soup. Yeah, I can help you deliver soup. I don't need a lot of time to charities. Oh, which ones? The um, uh, the Mario ones? brothers. Ah oh, yes, uh, the Italians do so The many Mario problems. brothers. You did not just to bring up a Mario a and a Luigi. Soup. Now hold your horses. Let's not get over eager. I drive the soup cycle in this town, and okay. I'm not about okay. to turn that's it fair. over to hey, That's fair enough. That's fair enough. If you're well connected with the local charitable institutions, yeah, you can let me know when they're running low on soup. Dale. No charity to need. As a matter of fact, I do know a local charity that's running low on soup. Oh, who? Hmm. Uh. The asylum. The insane asylum. Those inmates are crazy for soup. Okay. Hmm. All right, Edna. Just think of all those poor unfortunates and hold your nose. Yep. Mr. Donnelly. Okie dokie. Okay, she's gone. Don't know why I need to get her gone, but hey, it worked. Fair enough. How you doing? Good to see you. Uh, what do you know about Kid Tannen? Kid Tannen. What do we know about him? He's loud, he's obnoxious, he's not very bright, and he doesn't like anybody getting in his way. Anything else? That's a tannin, all right. But that's a peanut. Have to deliver a lot of subpoenas. Father's always sending me out to do these dirty jobs. He wants to expose me to different kinds of people. Eh, well, that's kind of fair enough if he wants you to follow in the footsteps, I guess. Arthur. These subpoenas for Arthur McFly? Have you seen him? For a few seconds in the soup kitchen, but I think he's gone back into hiding. Yep. Brilliant deduction, Einstein. <laughs> Why is your rocket made out of this alcohol? This a stupid question, but couldn't you have designed your rocket-powered drill to run on a fuel that, you know, isn't illegal? Yep. Illegal? What does law have to do with science? Science has its That's own That's a valid laws. point. That's a valid law point. People should know that. Why a rocket drill? Some of us down at the patent office are wondering, what made you think of a rocket-powered drill? Ah, oh, that'd be journey to the center of the earth by... Jules Verne. It was a revelation. Yeah, that's kind of what we figured. Why don't you quit? If serving subpoenas is such dirty work, why don't you just say no? Look, what's the worst thing that can happen to me on this job? You could get shot. Yep. Yeah, well, believe me, that's nothing compared to what I'll get if I mouth off to my pop. Any idea where I can find Any idea Arthur? Where we can find Artie? Not a jot. If only we had a way of tracking him. Have you read The Time Machine? Have you read The Time Machine? H.G. Wells? Not yet, but it's on my list. Can we use something besides Could you alcohol? Design a little so it runs on something else. Like what? I don't know. Gas, maybe. Gasoline? <laughs> Yesterday's news. You'll see. By 1940, automobiles will all run on pure alcohol. <laughs> Good luck with that. All right. We'll get that subpoena delivered. My name isn't Michael Corleone. Hey, yep. Yeah. Sure. Sure it is. Alright. Can I go back and shine and show you some more? Keep an eye on Trixie. That broad's going all squirrely on me. You got it, kid. Well, you're gonna stand there like an oaky, or you're gonna shine my shoes. Alright, let's do it. What do I got? Why'd you throw out Stay you know Sober Society? Society hold their meeting in the cellar of your soup kitchen. We got other plans for that cellar. 
and it don't necessarily involve staying sober. Oh, wow, that's not shady. Some of you soup. Hey, I represent United Charities of Hill Valley. Can you authorize me to pick up soup from your establishment and deliver it to some very deserving souls? Nah, that Strickland dame's got the charity racket pretty much locked up. No point in giving her competition. Ah, oh, come on. Back Carl Sagan. Not that Carl Sagan guy. I'm sure he wasn't the one who burned down your speaky uh, social club. You're touching a sensitive nerve, shoe shine boy. A little more rubbing, a little less talking. All right. Edna. Edna Strickland thinks your soup kitchen might not be on the up and up. That dame gets on my nerves. Got a great pair of gams, though. All right. How's that? Shiny enough? Yeah, that'll do. I don't know what to do, guys. I don't know. I mean, we're getting a lot of valuable information from this, which is good. But I don't know. I wonder who really burned down the speakeasy. Can I travel back in time and fucking find out? Or is that going to be like one of the episodes? <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, Emmett? Can you help me? Nope. We'll get that subpoena. Alright. Maybe older Doc can help me? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Doc, you in there? Alright. Alright. Uh. I need booze. Your younger self needs 190 proof booze to fuel his rocket drill. Oh, that could be a problem. Yeah. No, we're both underage. Underage, nothing. It's 1931 and alcohol's been outlawed throughout the country. Yep. Are you sure you're about to graduate from high school? I'm kidding, Doc. It was a joke. A joke? If I live to be a hundred, and I almost have, <laughs> I'll never understand a teenage compunction to make a joke out of everything. Ah, it's just the way we are. Uh, Grandpa. Guess who I bumped into at the soup kitchen? My grandfather. No! Don't worry, I didn't talk to him or change his future or anything. Good! I wish I could, though. This era's tannin is treating him like dirt. Yep. Don't worry. If history plays out as it's supposed to, he'll soon be out from under Kit Tannen's thumb and free to live out his life as a humble accountant with your grandma. What was her name again? Sylvia. Yeah. Right. Sylvia. Uh, about Kid Tannen. What's the story with this Kid Tannen jerk, anyway? Biff's father? By this time next year, he'll be pulling down a life sentence in San Quentin. There was even a song about it. Wait, if Biff will be born in 1938, and Kid will be in prison... Yeah. I recall, he escaped from prison in 1937 for about three hours. Wow. That's a busy three hours. No kidding. Jesus. And the Stricklands? What do you know about Edna Strickland? Edna? We never really socialized when I was younger. She was a few years older than me, and we traveled in different socioeconomic circles. Why do you ask? She thinks you're a hero for burning down that speakeasy. She's doing a story on you. Yeah. A story? Oh, yes. Now I remember. Ask Edna. The etiquette column that doubled as a pro-temperance soapbox. She believed that the consumption of alcohol would inevitably lead to a complete societal breakdown. Sounds like a fun gal. You should yeah. have seen her when the hippies started showing up in the 60s. She just somehow lost her mind. That would explain a lot. Yep. Hang in there. Is there anything else I can do? I need hints. You gotta set up the delivery. Now to get the shipment ready. Your challenge now takes you to the soup kitchen. So I didn't even really need to talk to Kid Tannen yet. I just need to go to the soup kitchen. Well, that's great to know. I've just wasted, like, what, ten minutes? Alright. Oh, here we go. A cue ball. What? The truck just arrived with a fresh shipment of, uh... Soup. <laughs> soup? Soup? 
Well, uh, this is the regular soup, and this is the special soup. Yep. Right. Special. Uh. Hey, what are you doing? I'm spicing what up the soup. Doing? It's my secret recipe. Listen, this ain't the Savoy, and we ain't here to feed these bozos no fancy soup. So I'm guessing the that they're selling to booze rebuild, to so people. Knock off the goofing and mind your post. All right, all right, just try the soup. I'm guessing it's all just booze, well, straight up. Uh, I can see why you want to keep this a secret. Okay. Counterflat. Hey, where do you think you're going? The kitchen? <laughs> the kitchen's for management only. Jesus. Eh. Uh, okay. Okay. What the fuck just happened? Oh, poo. Shit. Uh. Hmm. I need Emmett to distract him. Huddle up, Emmett. Huddle? Just Gather. listen up for a second. Okay. Place is a little dusty. Obviously, this kitchen isn't the speakeasy. Indeed. This must be some sort of front meant to cleverly and legally obfuscate the existence of a hidden establishment of ill repute. Perhaps in the basement. Yep. Right. That might explain the elevator. Okay. Any ideas about how to get the hooch? Hooch? The alcohol, Emmett. Ah, one might come to the conclusion that the hooch is being hidden in some of those barrels. You're okay. Probably right, but which ones? Now, if I could get my hands on some of those barrels, I could weigh them and compare the specific gravity. Specific gravity? Come on, Emmett. Kids goons aren't going to let us do an experiment on their barrels. No, oh, I suppose you're right. We'll just have to ask the guy behind the counter. Well, <laughs> ask him if any of his barrels are filled with illegal moonshine? Get real here. Well... I imagine the modicum of subtlety would be used. Yep. Subtlety. Right. Okay. Somehow. I'll keep cogitating. So I've got to talk to him and distract him. Excuse me. You talking to me? Yep. Uh. Why is the soup in a barrel? Why is the soup in a barrel? Because it's hard to ladle off the floor. Could I have some soup? Could I have a bowl of soup? We're a soup kitchen. What do you think? All right. Yep, soup, soup. Uh, what kind of soup is this? It tastes like... Scrolle ribolita? I was going to say week old cabbage. Everyone's a critic. Look, all I got to work with is this two-bit soup in a barrel and spice rack that hadn't been restocked since the Coolidge administration. What do you think I should do to perk this slop up? Let's see. Yeah. Have you tried? Have you tried some parsley? Parsley? It might help to uh, complement the mellow flavor of the cabbage. Complement the mellow... What are you talking about? Trust me. Hmm. You might be on to something, kid. Let me see what I got. Go for it. Glad I could help. Ah. So he's taking it off the elevator. I see where we got to. Well, I was distracted. For management only, Rummy. Whoa! Uh. 
Okay. Emmett, a little help. Emmett. Yes. Yep. I'll keep. God damn. Oh Jesus. Uh. Hmm. There's no way I'm gonna keep that door open without some help. Emmett. Okay. Yes? Can you keep the door open? Can't get into the kitchen. I can't get into the door over there. Those tables are jamming it shut. The door? So your plan is to just waltz in there and take a barrel of alcohol? Uh, no. Uh, of course not. That would be stupid, right? That would be stupid. I'll say. Still, I'd like to get that door open. I can't do anything from out here. Well, it's a simple matter of physics. A lever, some sort of stop. Let me see what I can come up with. Okay. Uh-oh. How'd they go? Bad? Good? Hmm. <clears throat> what is it, kid? Uh. No more ideas for your soup. Okay. I've got some more ideas about your soup. Do tell. Let's see. Have you tried... Bit of salt. Salt? Salt? What do you think? It's too bland? Too mild? I didn't put too much pepper in it, did I? I just think it could use a little more salt. No accounting for taste these days. Okay. I think we're getting somewhere. Maybe. I don't know. Hmm. Hit it. Nice. Nice. Uh oh. Ah, Miss Strickland. Uh oh. Come for some more soup. Come now, Mr. Donnelly. You know I wouldn't set one foot in this mockery of all that is good and decent if the poor of Hill Valley weren't so dependent on Mr. Tennant's overblown show of generosity. Was that a yes? Okay. Just give me the soup before I gag on the hypocrisy. Oh, no. I'll tell the boss you said hello. I'll just bet you will. And they picked up the barrel of hooch. Now all you have to do is to get it from her somehow. All right. You know what? I might need to do that next time. I'll wait for the cutscene to finish. There we go. We are going to do that next time. I am going to leave it here. I know that there was a lot of investigating, bit of dialogue here and there, um, and just figuring out the little bits and pieces, how they all fit together. That's what a lot of this game is going to be. Uh, quite honestly, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to favorite it. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already, guys. Helps me out a lot. There are links to social medias in the description box. And as always, there's a link to popyjn.com down below. Thank you, guys. I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world. And until next time, I'm YouTube's PopyJN. Peace out. We have its unity together and this love as we cannot help but drown in all the ecstasy it's in the way we fight it's in that sweet surrender i'm drinking in your